hey guys what's up welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how to develop a restful web service api for crowd operation using spring boot and mysql Everybody, can you feel the groove? so for that let me quickly go to the spring boot initializer so this helps us to create a spring boot application and here i will be choosing 2.5.1 snapshot so java language and let me give the group id arjun codes and for artifact id let me give spring boot crowd and you can give the description as a wish so i have got uh, java 11 so i will be choosing a java, java 11 if you have version 8 you can just choose 8 here and let me add some of the dependencies quickly here so it's, i will be adding spring web spring data jpa and mysql driver for mysql and i guess this should be enough so if we need other dependencies we will be adding while developing the application so let me click on generate so this would generate the spring boot application so let me go to the downloads folder here so this has already created so let me extract it here and for this tutorial i will be using IntelliJ. so if you are using other id eclipse or uh, netbeans so the procedure is similar so i'll just open my spring boot application so let me go to the downloads here so let me go to downloads and just click on the extracted folder so this might take some time to uh, resolve the dependencies if, if you are doing it for the first time so I so first of all let us create for the folder structure so let me create package and let us name that model for modeling our data and let me create another package let's call it service and for routing we will be using the controller so controller and also for repository we will be creating repository so for repository we have a repository package so the first thing is we need to create a a model class so i'll be demonstrating for a student so let's create a student class and let us annotate to it with entity so that it will create a student directly into the mysql database and also we need to provide the parameters so i will be creating uh, private int id so this is for id and private string name private string address so these are the attributes we will be having in our database and we need to annotate this id with id and also the generated value and strategy generation type identity so this will make the id auto increment so the next thing is you need to add constructor and getter setter for that you just right click and here you can find uh, generate also you can just enter alt insert for shortcut i will be doing just clicking this one and click on constructor so let let's select none and the next thing is let's enter alt insert so it's for shortcut and let's click on get a setter so let me select the all fields so this will create the getter and setter so this is it for uh, model so the next thing is we need to create the uh, repository so let's call it student repo g g -tary. so this will help us to so this would be interface so let's replace the class by interface and let's extend it with jpa repository jpa repository and inside here we need to write the name of our class so the class name is student and the type of the since we have created the id as integer so we need to put the data type of that id and this jpa repository provides uh, lets us to uh, do some of the tags so if i just type alt insert uh, let's see the override method which will be provided by jpa so it provides a whole lot of abstract methods so this will make us 
easier to save the data, find by ID. So it provides a lot of abstract methods. So now next thing is we need to configure our MySQL. So for that, let me create one comment configuration configuration file for MySQL. So what we need to do is we just need to configure our MySQL. For that, just type spring dot jpa hibernate ddl auto update. And next thing is we need to give the URL. So the URL looks like this jdbc and MySQL local local host 3306 so let's create one database for that i will be opening my terminal so if you're using windows you can just go to the jam control panel and just start apache and mysql and in right side there you can find the cell so just click on that cell and just type mysql hyphen u root and hyphen p so if you're using the customized one, customized username and customized password, you know, type accordingly. So I have the default one. So I just typed root and the password is default. So I don't need to type it uh, here. So you can just type this one and just create the database. So let me create one database, create database and let me call it uh, spring crowd demo and if I just type so databases so databases here you can find spring mysql demo sorry spring crawl demo so we have just created spring crawl demo so let me type spring crawl demo so let's type the same name here and the next thing is we need to provide the username so it's spring dot data source dot username so it's a root as i have already mentioned and we need to provide the password as well so data source password so i have got a default password so i don't need to type anything here and the next thing is we need to provide the driver class name so just type my com dot mysql cj jdbc and driver so this is how the configuration of mysql looks like so this looks fine so if i just run my application so this would create the table automatically in our mysql database so just right click and run this application so our application is running let's wait for it to run okay it's showing that to display Uh, 3306 okay something is wrong here okay let's go to the application properties here localhost 3306 okay here i have misspelled the jdbc so just type jdbc okay let me quickly run it again now it should be fine so let's go to the database and let's use the same database the spring crowd and demo if I use this database and if I just type so tables so this should create a table named student so this is the same name we have given in to our class so student and if I just type the DESC student to see the description of, of our table so it's showing ID which is auto incremented since we have uh, we have given generated value as generation type identity so this create the auto increment automatically here and we have given the address and name as well so this has created the address and name into our database table as well so this is how we connect to our database the next thing we need to do is let's create a service class so for that let me quickly go to the service and create new class and let me call it student service so here we need to annotate this with service annotation so let's type service since this is a service class we need to annotate with service annotation and what we need to do is we need to auto wire auto wire auto wire the uh, 
uh, repository so just type private private student repository and type student repository so let me write a method to uh, find all the student so just type list and give the name student so we need to import list first and type student and just type a method list all and also we need to return student repository dot find all so this find all is provided by this student repository jpa repository class sorry interface so this is an interface so these all methods are provided by jpa repository so this find all is also provided by jpa repository uh, the next thing is we need to write a service for saving the student so for that just type public void save and student just type student and student repository dot save so this is also provided by the jpa repository just type student so this will help us to save the student details the next thing is we need to write the service for getting the student by id so just type public student and get so just type integer integer and id so just return student repository dot find by so find by id and just type id and also dot get or you can just write optional here so this also helps you to write the same thing and for next thing we need to write service for deleting so just type public void delete delete and just type integer and id so this is for deleting so delete by so we will be deleting by id so delete by id just type id and this is it for service so next thing is we need to create a controller so just go to this controller package and create a new class and let me call it student controller so just create student controller and we need to annotate with with uh, you can either annotate with uh, rest controller so i will be annotating with rest controller here so we don't need to write response every time and also uh, we will be using request mapping so what request mapping simply do is used to annotate a map request to the spring controller methods so let me just write student here student so let's write the uh, http methods so let's implement all http methods so for first we need to write get mapping so this is for getting the details of students so let me just give the route as get all so this is for getting all the student list so just type public uh, list of student list of students so we want to get all the student list and just type list so we need to import this list as well so just type uh, just type alt and enter so alt and enter will just auto import these uh, annotations or these kind of classes so what we need to do is let's return student so before that we need to also auto wire the service class so for that just type private student service and just type student service here so let's give the auto wired auto wired annotation here and just return new new student added sorry not new student added for this we need to uh, we are doing for get mapping so we need to give student service dot list all so this is the method we have just created in our service you can find here and the next thing is uh, we need to do for post mapping so just type post mapping so this is for 
posting the data student data so let me call it add so let's write for adding so for that we will be just writing public string to return some text and let's write add and we will be sending the data in json format so just type request body and just type student and student and inside here we just need to give the student service and save so we have just created a save method here so this is for saving so what we need to do is just type save and student so let's return some message here return new student edit so we have added get mapping and post mapping so let let me quickly open the postman so if you haven't installed postman i've already got one video how to install this postman so just check it out there and if you have installed just open your postman so we will be checking for get mapping and post mapping so let me quickly restart my application so we need to restart the application as well so let me quickly restart my application so our application has been started in 8080 port so let me go to the postman here and let me create new let me click on create new and http methods so here so let me use the post for posting the data so what we need to do is http slash local host 8080 and we have given the path as student so you can find here we have given the path as student and for post we have given add so just type the same thing student and slash add and next thing is you just need to go to body here and just go to the raw and we will be sending in json so just type json and give the curly braces so what we need to do is we need to provide the name so the name let me provide some name origin quotes and let me give the address so let me provide it with this so if i just click on send so you can see here new student added so how to know if this data has been added or not we can just check in our database so just type select star from student so here you can find the data we have just added also we have already written the controller or service for getting all the students so let me quickly go to the postman and change this method into get and just type student and if i just see here we have given get all so just type get all and let me send so here you can find we have just got the list of students so if i just post another student as well so okay let me just type add and let me just give the name as okay james so he is from usa and let me post it again sorry it's showing some mirror here uh okay i guess we have got some error here so it's student slash add only not the dot here so let me again do the same thing and it's showing new student added so if i just go to the gate and student and just type get all and we will be getting the two datas here and if i also just go to my terminal here and just type the same comma same query select star from student we can see here we have got the two datas so the next we will be implementing for get mapping uh, get mapping but we'll be we will be getting by just typing the id so for that let me write the get mapping here and just type id so what we will be doing is in this route we we will be typing one and if i just type one 
we have to get this data only so we will be writing for that so what i need to do is let me just go here and public so let me type response entity so what this response entity will do is this will show the response code like this so we will be writing for that so just type student and get and path variable so this is for id so since we are dealing with id so we need to annotate with path variable and integer id so let's keep this inside the try and let's write the catch so if there's no id so we have got only two ids there so if i put the other id then one and two so this should show this error so let me write no search element exception and just type what i need to type is exception and just type e and just type return sorry return sorry sorry okay return return new and just type response entity and just type student http status not okay it's not found so we will be giving this response if someone has provided the route with id which doesn't exist in our database so just lay, if he has provided the right id so we need to display the student having that id so type student service dot get by id and return new response entity and just type student sorry student and just type student slash http status okay so this will show the response of 200 i guess some error is here so let me find what it is so let me clear this one and what i need to do is i need to put some one curly braces here so this should clear our error so if i just restart my application and go to the postman again so this would look fine yeah so this has started our application and if i go here and just type send here so this should show the student with id one only so if i just put two here so this should show the id two only and if i just put three here this would show the status here so here it shows 200 okay but if i put three so we don't have any data data with id three here so it should this should show http not found so just click on send so it's showing as 404 not found so this is it for get by id so for next we will be implementing for put mapping so which is basically a update so just type slash id so we will be updating with id so what i need to do is just type the same thing public response entity so we have already done the same thing in get mapping by id as well just type update and here we will be getting the whole request so we will be sending in the request body so just type student student and we will be getting the data from id so we just need to annotate with path variable integer and id so we will be keeping this as well in the try catch block so that if there is no id so this will show the status with 404 not found so just click on no such element exception uh, return new response entity so just type student http status not found so just enter this one so just type semicolon and the next thing is if student exists so student and just type exists thing student equals to student service dot get id so we will be getting this student using the id and what we need to do is sorry get only just type get 
student so why not uh, sorry student service and get id and what we need to do is we need to save the updated value so just type student and what we need to return is just return the response entity return the response entity and inside here we just need to give the http status dot okay so this should look fine also i need to put new here uh, yeah so this should look fine so let me restart my application again and if i just go to the postman and here what i need to do is just go and put so we i will be updating the value of student id with one so let me just give the name as arjun so that let me remove the quotes so this this update i will be doing in this id one so just uh, type the name as arjun only and address will be nepal so let me update the address as well address as well so it's india and let me just send the data and if i just go to my database and click it again so this shows it's india and arjun but id is showing in three so what it did is we have forgot to give the id as well so we need to keep the id as well here so just keep the id one and if i do the same thing again now this should work if i just type the same command here so here we can find arjun and address is india so what if i need to delete this data so the, there's always a dupl duplication here so the next thing we are going to do is the same thing so delete data so for that for deleting we just need to type at the rate delete mapping annotation here and just type id id and just type public string string and delete delete and for id we also need to annotate with path variable and just type integer id and student service dot delete and we will be deleting it with id and let's return something some message return deleted deleted student with id and just type id so this will show the message like student deleted with the id given we have given so let me again restart our application and this should again look fine yeah so let me quickly go to my postman and just choose the method as delete and i want to delete the id of three so just type three and let me send this one so this has shown here it deleted student with id three if i just go to my database here so you can see here the id has been deleted so this is how you make a restful web service api for crowd operation so if you like my video don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching Thank you guys.